Right, okay, I'm live again. Hey, it's Kim here. I'm gonna do another tapping script on, uh, well, I've got a lot, of, a lot of requests for emotional, um, like anxiety, overwhelm, anger. So I can do one on that, but you could also use this for any kind of uncomfortable emotion, uncomfortable, uh, like a fear of doing something. So like social anxiety or a fear of going to a party or a fear of being seen, a fear of like doing something new for your work. Um, so I'll just show you how to do kind of like, it's like a setup, uh, like a general tapping tapping script now what i do with my clients is kind of go deeper and, and follow the emotion back in time to see where the, that actual emotion arose from but the first thing to do is just to set up a um to do like a setup statement so we're going to just tap the karate chop point here and you can follow along with me and you can i'm going to do shall i do the example for um just for anxiety like that maybe social anxiety okay so you can just take a deep breath in and center yourself and you can start off with even though I'm feeling this and you, this is when you insert your thing I'm gonna say this social anxiety I deeply love forgive and accept myself you can repeat it to me you say that two more times so even though I have this feeling this anxious feeling I accept myself and I accept these feelings so last time, even though I have all these anxious feelings in my body, I truly love, forgive, and accept myself. And we're just going to start to tap through the point. So just your eyebrow point, and you just name, acknowledge the feeling, acknowledge the emotion, acknowledge what's going on. So this anxiety, I have all this anxiety in my body about going to this party. It's making me feel overwhelmed. And if you want to identify where it is in your body, if you just check into your body, maybe it's in your belly, your heart, wherever. All of this anxiety in my body. And just identifying the emotion again. This anxiety. All of this anxiety. It's causing me to feel overwhelmed. Frustrating. All of this anxiety and just breathing deeply as you're going through this. I'm feeling it in my body. It's stopping me from doing the things I want to do. It's frustrating me. It's overwhelming me. I just don't want to go to this party. I just don't want to do that thing. I wish this would go away. All of this anxiety in my body. It's overwhelming. And just take another deep breath in. And I forgot to do it at the start, but, but rate how you're feeling. So the first thing is rate, so you know, zero to 10, how, how intense it is. Okay, so zero is it's like nothing at all, calm as anything. 10 is the worst intensity at all. So this is, after you do that first round, you just check in, see how it's, what, what the rating is. Um, and so maybe it's gone down, up, stay the same. If it has gone, if it's, um, if it hasn't gone down, repeat that first, that first and second round a couple more times until you get it down to kind of either about below like a three or four. And then we're going to start to do like the positive rounds of tapping. Okay. So I'm choosing to feel calm and ease now. I'm open to releasing this. I'm open to feeling calm and relaxed. I'm open to breathing deeply. I choose to know I'm always safe. I choose to know I'm always supported. What if I actually do that thing or go to that party and I have a great time? I choose to magnify great experiences to me. I choose to stand in my power and know my worth. I choose to release this anxiety in my body. 
maybe it's not mine anyway. I'm choosing to release this. I'm choosing to feel calm and relaxed. And I know that all is well. Releasing this now and calling in better experiences. Okay, so just take a deep breath in and relax. And if that hasn't subsided to like a, a, a rating of, of that, you know, one, two, or even a zero, just see if you can repeat that again. It's so quickly. You can do this with anything if you've got pain, any pain in the body. So the first thing is like, you know, you're just identifying it. And people are like, oh, that's like a negative thing that I'm, that I'm identifying with, but you want, you, want, you want to acknowledge that, okay? So a lot of times what happens, you know, we don't acknowledge the thing, it's all we can think of, but we're not actually acknowledging the feeling that we have, and so our subconscious just wants to feel acknowledged, okay? We want to acknowledge it, and then it kind of, dis it, it, it loses its intensity once you acknowledge it. So I don't know if you feel felt any bodily shifts when you were even saying this anxiety. I noticed myself, I take a really deep breath. You know, you can yawn, um, just like a big sigh, and just feel the, like, just that, that energy kind of dissolve and not have that kind of that tense, that tense in intensity or that tense feeling in your body wherever you felt it. So I hope that helps. Um, if you want to go deeper, I do like six and 12 week programs with clients that specialize in emotional eating and, um, and addictions. So whatever the thing is, so usually there's something like anxiety that's behind it or sadness, loneliness, and then that causes you to go for the thing. It could be social media, shopping. And so we'll kind of get to the root problem of what is underneath that. What's underneath that? What's causing that uncomfortable emotion or your association with that uncomfortable emotion? Okay, so we're not, we go back into that memory and support you as, um, as a child when we learn how to, we, you know, that is when we learn how to, um, you know, our reactions or our perceptions to these certain emotions, to sadness, loneliness, depression, all of those kind of uncomfortable emotions. And then that then in turn leads to, um, you know, overeating, any kind of eating disorders, under eating, um, any sort of addiction to any substances. So yeah, I hope that helped. If it has, let me know uh, in the comments or send me a private message and have a wonderful day.